let me share my screen so here I do have this virtual machine software this software contains a Mac OS within that particular Mac OS we have configured everything for our project requirement so if you observe I'm just starting this virtual machine in which I'm starting this Mac OS Syria so this virtual machine contains the entire configuration so it means that, that VM in which I install okay I, I install uh, the first one is Java Eclipse third one is APM and configuration for Mac so as of now whenever you are using this uh, APM desktop it doesn't need all these uh, configurations okay it doesn't need all these uh, configuration whereas whenever you are gonna work on uh, specifically with respect to Mac uh, you need to install certain configurations usually uh, if you go for an APM desktop directly it will work if it's getting failed I means based on that error message uh, we need to install certain things okay based on that error message itself uh, we need to install certain things fine so let these uh, VM start and uh, and one point of what I can do is basically I'll share you one person number or uh, email ID okay he will help you in getting this VM okay so I will give you his email ID just drop him an email okay so even I took this VM from him okay so he will get you these virtual machines the reason is that this VM software is about okay this VM software is about roughly one second let me check this roughly it's gonna be around a 51 GB of size okay it's gonna be around a 51 GB and I can't share this one and even I don't have uh, any idea how to share this particular stuff the person um, email ID whom I'm gonna share you uh, he is more into this software installation and uh, sharing these softwares okay you can directly uh, drop him an email he will help you out uh, in getting this software to you so, so if you observe uh, this VM got started now so uh, I'm maximizing this VM screen if you observe over here on, on this particular VM uh, if you observe on this particular VM we need to download and uh, install this Xcoder first So if you observe, uh, this virtual machine contains Xcode, if you observe this virtual machine, it contains this Xcode software which was already installed. The significance of this Xcoder is, using this Xcode, uh, we can get uh, the various uh, kinds of simulators using these uh, X codes okay so this is the first and a foremost thing using this uh, X code uh, what are all the simulators you would like to execute uh, you can directly launch all those uh, simulate launch all those uh, simulators using this X code and here if you observe uh, I install this Eclipse editor and uh, in the application folder I have already installed this uh, APM 
and uh, some kind of a configuration is uh, needed uh, which I already installed okay which I already installed to this machine to this virtual machine so the whole point is this uh, VM contains Xcoder Eclipse editor and then uh, in the application we have this APM okay in the application we have this uh, APM so what I'm gonna do means to work on these uh, APM on a Mac. So here I don't have uh, any iPhone with me. Okay, so uh, I don't have uh, uh, I don't have this one with is an iPhone with me. And so only thing what I would like to do means that directly I can use these iOS simulators from an Xcode and I can directly launch the desired simulators whatever I want. Okay, whatever I want, I can launch those simulators as well. Okay. Okay, so it's just I'm getting some message that Xcode is trying uh, is being updated. So let's wait for a few seconds uh, to open that. But the only problem with this virtual machine is as this machine was a uh, completely loaded with a bunch of softwares. Okay, as this machine was a completely loaded with a bunch of softwares, it will take more time to start this virtual machine to work on this virtual machine. Okay, it will definitely take more time for me to start on this virtual machine to get started to work on this one. Everything, everything, it will consume more time for me. Okay, so I just shut down that particular VM. Okay. Down. so it might take uh, some time to uh, uh, to get that VM on okay it might take some time to get on that uh, VM okay it might take some time to get on that particular VM okay fine so what the ultimate point out over here is this VM software contains uh, everything okay this VM software contains uh, everything the Xcoder need to be installed and here I am adding this stuff Xcode which was already installed on this particular VM the Eclipse editor Java whatever you want APM and it's a configuration everything was there on that particular virtual machine which you have uh, seen right now so the only thing required from your end is instead of uh, configuring this uh, Mac on your machine Try to get this virtual machine uh, from that person who I am going to share you. So directly probably by end of this week he will help you out in getting this VM for you. Okay. So directly you can download this one and you can directly work on this VM itself rather than configuring everything from your end. Okay. So it might take some time uh, to load this virtual machine. But ultimately this is the point which we need to consider. Okay, ultimately, which is the point of which we need to consider. Okay, so basically, Xcoder is a developer tool which is used to. Okay, Xcoder is a developer tool which is used to create assimilators, hardware devices to connect with the hardware devices and other stuff. Okay, for that particular significance, so we are using this Xcoder and. and this is the thing and we have some other configuration specifically with respect to mac but i think uh, as uh, you are as i'm trying to share this uh, vm to you directly i think you no need to do this configuration okay you no need to do this uh, configuration directly that vm contains the entire stuff Okay, fine. So uh, this is the basic thing and uh, what are all the things you need to download. So here uh, I have specified how to download these uh, Xcoder and other stuff. So earlier I thought to uh, 
and download all these things so here whenever you are downloading apm uh, desktop you need to check this uh, apm for mac not for a uh, windows so you don't need to download the .exe file you can uh, you can download the .bmg files directly okay so uh, this is the thing which you need to download and you need to download the eclipse editor too okay you need to download the eclipse editor too so this is the basic thing which you need to download guys you don't need to do much the only thing is xcoder java eclipse apm and the configuration for mac so whenever you are using directly uh, the latest desktop version of mac i think it doesn't need any kind of a configuration from your end okay it doesn't need any kind of a configuration from your end so there is a thing okay so let this vm load so that i can show you a few things here so the vm got loaded so uh, if you observe uh, the applications are here i kept these uh, okay the apm on that uh, applications folder itself and later in the downloads so if you observe uh, i have downloaded these uh, uh, Android SDK. Uh, even I installed this uh, Android SDK to this particular virtual machine. I installed, I downloaded Maven and then I downloaded uh, APM desktop 1.0.dmz, which is a file for, okay, which is a file for this uh, Mac. And then uh, later I have uh, downloaded such certain iOS uh, inspectors. So we can use the default inspectors or else we can go for these iOS masters and then I have downloaded Anna UI catalog app okay UI catalog app the significance of these UI catalog app is let me show you here UI catalog app by Apple. so let me try to open this UI catalog so here developer.uicatalog.com uh, this is an app basically which you can download and you can practice this a uh, full version okay just download the full version out over here the point of why we are downloading this a ui catalog app means you can download the sample code from here the reason is see whenever you are working on an android you can directly download the various kinds of an apk files and you can use those apk files whereas i'm moving on to the is i will you can't find a bunch of applications for our practice hence we are using these ui catalog application for our further practice so the entire ui catalog application itself we are using for our practice okay so what are all the scenarios we are going to cover we are going to cover all those scenarios with the ui catalog application <laughs> okay so i'm trying to open up these xcoder and then uh, as you already aware how these uh, apm server desktop version will looks like i'm just trying to start these uh, apm server desktop as well and uh, once uh, this one was uh, done i will try to show you how to launch these uh, simulators the virtual devices using an xcode i'll show you that so the xcoder and an apm both are loading it will take a couple of seconds as said that as we are using these uh, virtual machine it will take uh, more time to load that as uh, the entire vm got loaded with a bunch of software so it will take a bunch of uh, some time to load these uh, virtual machine uh, softwares on that okay this is the thing so the only thing uh, required from you and is you need to get these uh, virtual machine uh, from chaitu i will share his contact so he will try to get these uh, vm for you you can directly use this vm okay good that up to here okay good okay so let's see here so Xcoder is trying to open up. 
so I'm trying to open some existing projects Okay, so uh, it is asking to update the APM server. I'm not uh, updating the APM server. So the same way how you have uh, started with uh, the APM server earlier, the same way I'm just starting this APM server here. Starting this APM server. And uh, let me switch to this uh, Xcode. I'm trying to open up these uh, UI catalog applications. Okay, I'm trying to. okay so here it's trying to open up so this is how uh, the excoder will looks like okay so if you observe here uh, it opened this particular application so uh, i just wanna okay i just wanna go with the various uh, kinds of uh, simulators we have see open developer tools simulators using which uh, we can identify the various or else you can set it up the various kinds of simulators iphone 7 iphone 7 plus iphone ic iphone 6 these are all the various simulators which we have in which i'm selecting just iphone 7 itself okay i'm just selecting this iphone 7 okay it is trying to build that particular app and build see i'm clicking on this a uh, build okay so it is trying to build this particular one okay let's wait for a few seconds so this is how the apm server got started if you observe the session also uh, you know how to create a session in order to identify the object properties in an android the same way here also i created a session and i saved one session earlier and that session contains this uh, Mac configuration where in which uh, I mentioned it as platform name as an iOS, platform version as a 10.6, device name as an iPhone 6. So the reason iPhone 6, why I kept it out over here is uh, basically earlier when I am working on that, uh, the uh, simulator name is an iPhone 6 and automation name is an XCUI test. Significance is whenever you are using the APM latest version uh, here for Mac, you need to specify this uh, automation name as an XCUS and the bundle ID. We will see how to get the bundle ID for each and every app, but this is the bundle ID uh, which you need to specify. So, uh, see, whenever I clicked on these uh, simulators or else whenever I clicked on these uh, Xcoder. If you observe the Xcoder, what I did, whenever I clicked on this build, automatically a simulator iPhone 7 got launched. As said, it will take some time to load this simulator. Once this simulator got loaded, directly we can use it. Okay, so it means you can perform any operations here, even uh, uh, the APM test application also we can execute it on the simulator itself. So here the desired capabilities, I'm editing it. I'm changing it to, to iPhone 7. Okay, I'm just changing these desired capabilities to iPhone 7. Let these simulator got loaded and then I will try to start this session so that whatever the bundle ID we have specified for this application, that app will be launched on this simulator itself. Okay, that app will be launched on this particular simulator. And moreover, the Eclipse, in the Eclipse editor, whatever the program we are going to write down, 
we are targeting on this editor itself okay we are targeting on this simulator directly specifically for mac ios testing we are using simulators itself to execute the script so we are not using any real devices i'm just using the simulators to perform this option okay fine Good. So it will take some time, as said, to load this stuff. So let's wait for a few minutes and then we'll see how this is going to work. Okay. Let's wait for a few seconds and see how this is going to work. So uh, it's getting up, executed, and the Eclipse editor is uh, trying to launch. Okay. And simultaneously, I'm trying to open this uh, virtual machine as well. So, so this is the way, guys. So uh, as of now, um, to work on this uh, Mac, we are gonna cover. Okay, so uh, to work on this uh, Mac, uh, we are gonna cover everything, everything with respect to. Okay, everything with respect to this Mac on this virtual machine itself. Seems like it might take a few more seconds to load this uh, simulator. Okay, so uh, as you all know, we just started this uh, virtual machine. Uh, we started our session with uh, the configuration required. The only thing is the Java, Eclipse, uh, APM, and configuration for Mac and Xcode. These are all the four things required for us to work on this uh, Mac. So we will provide this uh, virtual machine. Uh, I will give you one person email ID. You can get in touch with him to get this uh, uh, virtual machine. Okay, which was configured with the everything and uh, even a couple of uh, programs were also there on that VM. Okay, so a couple of programs were also there on that VM. Still, is a VM is getting loaded. Okay, so in the meantime, let me share you his uh, email ID to whom you need to drop an email so that uh, he will help you out uh, in getting this. Okay, let me grab his uh, email ID. So, uh, see regarding this uh, VM access, try to. Five at the rate at gmail.com. Okay, so to this person, uh, you just need to drop an email. So uh, he might charge some amount, I think. I'm not sure about that. Uh, the reason is even I purchased this VM from him. Okay, so uh, and then still it is uh, loading up, I think. Uh, uh, if you observe the Eclipse editor got loaded and uh, here we have a bunch of uh, examples uh, which we need to study already these bunch of examples were listed down over here we are gonna study around uh, uh, five to ten, ten scenarios around uh, on this particular okay on this particular simulator okay and uh, once this uh, simulator was done even here on this Mac you can run the Android stuff also see this uh, one was launched which one the iPhone 7 was launched in which uh, the targeted application which we build on a Mac Xcoder say I on uh, this uh, Xcoder I uh, I asked it to build for UI catalog so here on the simulator the UI catalog application got launched okay this is a simulator in which the UI catalog application was also launched that's it. So here, clicking on this uh, UI catalog, so it is having uh, these many options for us. So we have a toolbar, we have a text field, we have a switches, 
so these many fields are there on which we are going to perform the various kinds of an operations okay so these are all the various fields on which we are going to perform the bunch of operations are here okay the bunch of operations are here so how can you handle these alerts the cancel buttons everything everything we have uh, scenarios are defined in our test scripts okay so this is the high level concepts required from your end okay this is the thing from my end with respect to mac configuration am i clear for everybody till now or do you have any questions for me on this